Mandaria. In addition to that uh, upgrade in laborator laboratory and workshops at Matakulia that we plan to develop 25 labs and laboratories with the modern equipment. That is the way we will develop the qualities. Not only uh, this institute, actually that Matakulia, in addition to next year we will introduce this higher national diploma in engineering at Labudova. Now Matakulia we have a 200 students, but next year we can uh, register another 150 students at Labudova. That means we can give that our industry and our economy that 350 students. Smart Recharge Bonanza from Mobytel. Dial hash 151 hash to enter. Earlier we have a manual system, that accountancy, manual based accountancy system. But 2007 we introduced IT based accountancy system. That is the trend. We will develop our student capacities through IT based accountancy. That management also same. We introduce that human resource development, that marketing yeah. through the IT. Right? That agriculture also now that under the World Bank IRQU project, now we uh, appointed local consultants to look into that and what are the emerging tre trends in the uh, at uh, agri base areas. Last uh, week we had a workshop with the industry uh, stakeholders. They given very uh, innovative ideas for us. That means our main aim is development of the skills. Not only that, actually that our whole courses are English medium. Right. Now we have a language cum IT labs, each and every institutions irrespective of the subject that they are Irrespective doing. of the subjects that our student can learn that uh, uh, English, you know, that mainly uh, English focus on that speaking, uh, listening, that uh, reading and writing. Actually that uh, listening, uh, speaking areas, they can cover through the IT uh, language from IT laboratories. That is the way we will develop our students' language capacity. So those are the facilities available, available. to the students at yes. this Advanced Institute of Technologies. Definitely. What are the other facilities? You spoke about the laboratory and the English uh, learning facilities. Yeah. Uh, what other facilities are available to these students? Yeah. Well, that we have a, that library facilities. We given that uh, modern books for our students. Not only that, that uh, HGTC project that 21st century projects, they agreed to give uh, that e-libraries, e-library facilities that also I think our students very near future, they can uh, go through the webs and get the information uh, and references to uh, develop their knowledge. So now when you said e-library facilities, e -library it facilities. reminded me of distance learning programs as well. Sure. So does the institution offer distance learning programs as well? Actually, that uh, we have uh, two centers now. One is uh, Badul and another one is Trinko. Trinko ATIs and Badul ATIs through the DEB program that, that is also ADB program. They given two institutions for us. Uh, the two institution very near future we will uh, introduce distance learning program there. No, this is for mm -hmm. students who can't uh, come to the f um, facility and institution, Definitely. but who can also access the resources from elsewhere and can sure, sure. 
Right. And then the other thing is also the foreign affiliations. You were referring to the specific example of Netherlands and Austria. Yeah. But I was also wondering whether there are any other tie up with international universities yeah. which have a very strong experience and a base when it comes to skills based uh, learning and education. So do you have have you tied up with some universities like that? Is there any accreditation programs in place yeah. or are there future plans uh, yeah. to move in that direction? Well, actually that my corporate plan I included these uh, objectives to affiliate with the foreign and local bodies that last year uh, Adelaide University you know that South Australia they given uh, that uh, accreditation for us especially high national diploma in engineering high national diploma in accountancy and high national diploma in management and nowadays they uh, examine our high national diploma in IT. Also, I think very near future we can get that accreditation also. So what do you mean by getting accreditation? What happens? What well, is the process? Actually, that uh, accreditations, you know that today when we uh, go through that weekend's newspapers, you can see all over the world universities uh, given opportunities for ours. Sri Lankan students to enter their universities. That's why that trend is there. We thought that as a government institution and as a local institution, we also have that capacity. That's why we thought we will uh, discuss with them and ask them to accredit our courses. Then very happy to say they given the three accreditation for us. So that means if they study this HND program that is offered by SLEAR, they will get exempted for about two definitely. years or so? Uh, well, it depends on definitely the curriculum. Uh, but depend on the curriculum. Mm -hmm. They are given two or two and a half years. And uh, after that, uh, our student can complete their degrees uh, within short period. So in other words, what you are saying is this qualification of the SLEAR is internationally recognized. Definitely. So this also brings us to the... In very addition, to, I want to say something yes. about that. That is, uh, we are mainly focused on the international uh, institutions, but local institutions also. That nowadays we have a, a negotiation with the local institutions. For SIMA, example? Mm -hmm. SIM, uh, Chartered Institutes, and Institute of Engineers, uh, Edexcels, that's uh, foreign institutions. Actually, we have a negotiation with them to get accreditation for our local courses. Okay, so that yeah. also, uh, that, that, that all talks about increasing the level of acceptance yeah. and level of recognition, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I would also uh, want to ask you, what has uh, the institutions LIA done in terms of increasing awareness about these courses that is on offer? Because there's a wide range of courses yeah. from business to engineering to IT to even metatronics and such courses are also going to be introduced. Yeah. And there we know as you said, there's about 100,000 and more students who are yeah. qualified after they're doing their A-levels but who are unable to enter the universities. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, there are wonderful facilities offered by these institutions like the uh, English Training Lab and then also the IT Lab where you can also learn English and also use these facilities yes. and with the libraries as well. Sure. So. Uh, are the people aware of these facilities? Uh, is there awareness there? Is there a branding strategy when it comes to SLEAT institutions? It's a very good question you asked actually that last 13 years we had the courses but we didn't get any publicity. But now you know that we have a competition, government as well as private sector. That's why my first aim is we will that uh, revise our curricula and develop that curricula competency based right then actually we can market these courses in addition to new areas earlier i mentioned that food technology software engineering aquaculture horticulture construction technology telecommunication actually when we introduce these courses our students our parents actually they uh, their main focus is that they uh, develop their students their capacities their skills when we 
establish these courses very easily we can market it. I think you agreed with me. That is why that uh, uh, next six months my main pro, uh, plan is we will uh, introduce huge marketing package right that we have a 12 institution now uh, that next year we will start another three institutions that means very easily we can